So the post-game depression has finally hit me after finishing the new Sonic Frontiers update. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm actually kind of sad that it's all over because, you know, this was a very unforgettable experience for me because it was my first time actually experiencing a brand new Sonic game since, as you know, I just became a Sonic fan early 2022. And... You know, it's just it's 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 very unforgettable for me. It was it's it was an amazing experience. Like this entire game, you know, even with the uh, unfinished ending back when it had first released last year, it was still amazing. Like it was it's a it's a very good game. Um, you should definitely you should definitely uh, get it for for any any like newcomers to uh, the Sonic series. I'll even say that you know if you're a newcomer you should get this game like it's really good and you know as 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 much as i said on my community post about how anticlimactic i still think the ending is like the ending itself i still think that they that the the final boss like the way they um they redid it it really exceeded my expectations um i i kind of expected the end to have an entirely new form rather than them no, no like rather than it still being just a purple moon but it was good enough they made up for it and it it's just it's it, it's amazing how much they turned this franchise around because you know back in the 2010s and stuff you know sonic was in kind of a bad place you know it 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 just it, it it was it was a it was a major downfall for the the series. It was a major downfall. But the movies and Frontiers, you know, it's amazing how much good they did for the franchise. It's so amazing. And you know, like I said, I could I I can't think of a better way to be introduced to this amazing franchise, you know? Like it's amazing. And you know, I, I, I really thank Sonic Team. We should all thank Sonic Team for what they did, you know. Like you can tell they really, you can tell they really cared and they wanted to, you know, make up for what's been happening the past few years with, you know, the, the, you know, you know how much uh, Sonic has been getting hated on in like the past few years for, you know, the, the, the major downfall that it had in the 2010s. So, you know, you can tell they, they wanted to make up for it. They really care about us fans who want to you know, see Sonic do good again, and, you know, I really hope that it isn't going to do the same thing that it did with Generations, you know, when, because uh, not a lot of people know this, but back in 2011, whenever Sonic Generations released, everyone was like, okay, okay, this is it, this game is amazing, Sonic is back, and then when you look a couple years later, we got Sonic Lost World, and then we got Forces, and, you know, although I enjoyed those games, kind of, you know, I, I can still admit that they were both bad games. So, I really hope that doesn't happen again. You know, we're all thinking that Frontiers is going to save the franchise, but then a couple years later we get some terrible game. I really hope this statement doesn't age 